Hello everyone. This video is just a little demonstration or to show you the difference between a fake Louis and a real Louis. So here's the white one and here's the white one. Yeah, this is the white Louis Vuitton multi-color um, and that's the real bag in behind and this is the brown one and the real one in behind. Okay, so why did I purchase these bags? Because, um, well, obviously I love Louis Vuitton and um, on, I really, really love the bags that I went searching for the fake ones because I couldn't afford the real ones, of course. So I found these um, in, uh, you know, one of those flea market type things. And this is what one of the fake ones look like. Um, so, yep, this is the little padding to hold the handles. And the pocket the front, just like the real one. And so this, obviously, it's a fake. So the this is like, I guess, plastic material. Or I don't know what kind of material that is, but it doesn't discolor or nothing. And I'll show the back of the bag. Okay, so you can see that... Uh, the handles already started breaking on me. Let me show the side. It's pretty much accurate to um, uh, what a, a real Louis would almost look like. The multicolor. What does this say? Made in France. That's hilarious. They copied it almost exactly the same. And the other side with a little tab like the real Louis. Okay. And let's just take a look at the inside of the bag. Now the inside of the bag has a tanning type of, uh, it's like a suede feeling kind of lining. And when I first saw it, I thought, ooh, that's actually pretty beautiful because it's like suede. So it was, it's nice inside to tell you the truth. I don't mind that. But the problem is, is there's a, with these uh, fake Louis, they come with a distinct odor. And, um... I never really cared for the odor, but it was part of the bag, and the bag was brand new. It's just, it is what it is. So, so with the fake bags, obviously, you can see some of the two reds together, two blues, two greens, and let's show the bottom of the bag. And this bottom of the bag is not one piece of canvas. It's got a, a bottom canvas, and it's got actually like the little stud feet looks like okay and the gold cuffs like the multi white uh, Louis Vuitton colored bag does so let me just put this one aside and now bring out the real Louis Vuitton bag oh, okay so the real Louis Vuitton bag obviously the handles have discolored Oh, it drives me nuts to see that. My poor, white, beautiful Louis bag. I love this bag. I didn't see the front pocket. The front pocket on this bag is like exactly like the other one, except it's like inside. That's what the front pocket looks like. Okay, so let's get back to the real one. So this is the real Louis. Oops. And there's the, almost looks the same. They did a pretty good job. The cuffs. Okay, the side of the bag, and there's that little signature little piece for the zipper, and the leather. Okay, and the other side. Okay, um, for that part, everything's mostly accurate because everything looks the same with this. Let me just uh, put both of them side by side. That's probably best. There you go except the real Louis Vuitton is a little bit softer. As you can see, it's beautiful. Okay. And then the back of the Speedy. And there we go. And the back of the Speedy here, I should have done it this way. Sorry about that. My cat's kind of in the way. Oh, sorry, Rocky, it's okay. Uh, there we go. So back of both speedies and you can tell the colors on the real Louis Vuitton look I think they are much more beautiful Obviously beautiful 
pastel-y looking purples and the pinks are nice and compared to this one. Very dark colors and just, you know, it's a nice blue, but I kind of still like the way the, the real one does. Sorry about my cat. There we go. Okay, so that was a look at the white one. But what I did show is both of them side by side together. I'm trying to move these together. Okay, watch out, Rocky Pew. Okay, there we go. Together, the fake one and the real one. Now let me open the pocket of this one because I didn't open it. Okay, and inside, beautiful lining. And that's the real one. Okay, so this was the white multicolor. Oh, and I didn't sew the inside of the white multicolor. And it has that lush red where the fake one only has the tan, suede looking kind of material. So, oops. So that is, this is the real Louis Vuitton bag with the nice luscious uh, red material on the inside. I really love that. So a big difference. And even in the feel, the leather feels amazing. And this feels hard. It's a very hard material. But I loved using it because it was like a Louis Vuitton looking bag and I really enjoyed actually using these until they started to break on me. The wear on the fake ones are not very good, as you can tell. And even the where they hold the handles, you'll see it more on the brown one. This one doesn't look so bad. So that's the fake one. Okay, so I'm just going to put these aside and I'm going to take the brown one now and put it in front of me. Okay. All right, so they made the brown one exactly like the white multicolor. And uh, so you can see all the red is taken off of here. And it's accurate to the white multicolor, obviously, which has the details of the cuffs. And it's got the piping. Okay. Um, let me see something here because I didn't notice. This one doesn't have the actual logo saying it's Louis Vuitton, but so the little thing to shut the bag and then the zipper thing looks really, I don't like the way it looks. It looks like a really crappy zipper. It still zips fine and all that kind of stuff, but it zips, zips harshly. So it's not a very attractive looking zipper like the real Louis is. And the inside of the bag, again, that tanny um, suede color. It's actually a nice tan. It's not bad. So when I first got this bag brand new, I actually really loved it. So there you go, the fake uh, brown Louis Vuitton. That looks exactly like the multicolor. So, okay, turn it around for the back. Okay. And this one, you can actually see the wear on it. Uh, the problem with the fake ones, they tear easily. They don't last very long because um, I wore the heck out of this bag because I loved it because obviously it looks like a Louis Vuitton bag. So, you know, so that's the fake brown one and I'm going to bring the real Louis Vuitton bag. You can almost tell the difference. The, the leather starts to droop right away because it's, you know, it's real leather and stuff like that. So this is the real Louis Vuitton. It's got the signature and everything like that. The handles, and my handles haven't yet darkened because I have been using my bag, but not a lot yet. And then the side, and um, I got the bandolier, so these are obviously not gonna look accurate since they made this brown one look like my multicolored one. So there we go. And then the back. Okay. And the fake one and then I'll just show you the bottom of the fake one and I'll put try and put this one upside down there we go the bottom of the real Louie which is this uh, continuous canvas and that was the same with my white multicolor I didn't show the bottom it's a continuous canvas um, and here's the uh, fake Louie which has it's not a continuous canvas uh, they cut a piece of whatever material this is and made a bottom for it and this one doesn't have the little studs but 
it's still it's not a ugly looking bag per se but like I said the leather is more tougher than this and I'm not crazy about the, like this is because I have my flash on, so you can't really see the color that this is giving off. But when I don't have light shine on it, I don't really care for the color too much. But this is the real one. Okay, it's drooping over. Oh, I have to pick it up. That's why it's drooping over. Okay, so I showed the inside of the fake one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. With the white. It's got a zipper pocket and oh and the front pocket. Let me see if I can get this open. I don't think I can. It's very hard. See, this is the thing with the fake ones. The Louis real Louis Vuitton bags would never give me this hard of a problem opening the front. So that's what it looks like. Lots of space in there. Almost bigger, more space than the actual real Louis, but yeah, there's a lot of space in there. Okay, so let's take a look at the real Louis and on the inside. So there's the real Louis on the inside, and it's got the the base shaper that I made on the inside. And the inside of the bag has the beautiful, well, it's got the brown on the inside, the D-ring, which these fake Louis don't come with, the D-ring. Okay, and the zipper, I can keep this top up. It's, uh, the zipper is so much more better quality than the fake bag. And here's the zipper. It's like such a disgusting looking kind of, ugh. I'm not crazy about it, but it did the job that I wanted it to do. It looked like a Louie. And then the stamp of the 40 on the side there. Okay. So this is the real Louie. And that was the fake Louis. Okay, and there they are side by side. And let me try and get the the real Louis white multicolor. And then the fake Louis. And Rocky right in the center. Rocky, you like to be in the video, silly boy. So there's the fake one. And the real one behind it. Ooh, careful with that. I don't want to ruin my real one. Okay. And it comes, of course, with the key inside the leather thing here. And here's the fake one. And the real one. So the leather on the, the leather, I don't know if this is leather or plastic, on the fake ones are tougher. A lot tougher. And of course, the real Louis Vuittons, they're supple, soft, and manageable. Even the white one is too. Beautiful bags. So, I just wanted to show a little difference. Well, I had these fake bags, and I thought, you know what? I should make a video of the all the Louis together and show what the difference is in the bags. So, tougher material, clearly cheaper because it rips a lot faster, um, as you can see in the handles. This one I don't even wear anymore because I don't like the feel of this. So, and I'm thinking of giving these away to someone who just wants a, a Louis looking bag like I did. So, yep. Because the zippers still work. They're in good condition. And so, yeah. And if the person wants to use it out completely until the handles actually break off because they're ripping here on the side here. Oh, I keep you. So there it is. It's, uh, let me see this one here. Okay, so that's what the leather looks like on the real Louis. And now let's take a look at close at this one. It's different, eh? Looks different to me. And the real Louis leather. Okay, and then the fake one. It's very different. Okay, so the material is obviously clearly a lot cheaper because it's a fake. Okay, so that was a look at the uh, fake Louis and the real Louis. Fake Louis multicolor, real Louis multicolor. Okay, and little Rocky Poo. Let's say goodbye, Rocky. Okay, so thank you for watching. I just uh, wanted to share that. Okay, thank you.